Blackburn, who, as we all know, is running for Senate congressman. Uh, let me start with uh, Facebook. Today it removed 32 accounts for what they call coordinated inauthentic behavior this ahead of the midterm elections. What are your thoughts here? Because you've been pushing on this hard. Yes, I have been pushing on this hard. And, you know, this is not that dissimilar from some of the Section 230 governance that we have discussed in the past. And as you know, Charles, banks, financial institutions do a lot of work in the Know Your Customer program. And it is time, as we have been saying, for Facebook and the social media outlets to know their users and to make certain that these are not being used improperly, that these Facebook accounts, YouTube accounts, things of that nature. And you remember years ago, I think it was 2009, we tried SOPA and PIPA to require some governance. And I've got to tell you, they need to make certain that they know who is their user and that you do not have nefarious or illegal activity that is going to be taking place on their platforms. Uh, Congressman Blackburn, I, I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, we're in the midst of this instability crisis in this country. Yeah. And a lot of people are looking to, to the folks we elect to sort of set the example. Now, I know the Tennessee Democratic Party spokesperson, it's been revealed, has made several hateful comments about President Trump. Uh, we know that uh, there was a comment about, uh, you know, F reaching out to Trump voters by the candidate yeah. himself, spokesman himself, the, 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 and calling them idiots. I mean, this is, this is remarkable. You, you're, 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 right now, your campaign is on is center stage. The whole country is watching. In fact, many think it may actually determine the outcome of power in Washington, D.C. in November. How, how, can you right. believe this? I, we were very, we were stunned to hear this. But you know what, Charles? It reveals the true nature of what they think and how they think about Trump voters. And through his spokesman, uh, Phil Bredesen is revealing this. And of course, it was bad enough when his friend Hillary Clinton, who he gave $33,400 to, called us all deplorables. And now we're hearing they think we're morons and idiots and not worth the time and for hard-working Tennesseans who support the president to hear that it is just unthinkable it's so unfortunate and the the bad thing is I understand that the guy hasn't been fired he's still there and working as their spokesperson F reaching out to Trump voters and calling them idiots is just it's so it's 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 yeah. re remarkable uh, but it's, it is, it, you know, it, it's, it's so, what's really even more remarkable is that, to your point, the guy's still employed. If this had happened with someone on your team, someone at the highest levels of your team, could you imagine the sort of criticism that you'd be taking, national criticism, it would be amazing, absolutely amazing. It is. And what Tennesseans want is somebody who is going to be a solid conservative in the Senate. They want someone who's going to keep the focus on keeping this economy going. You were just talking about uh, salaries and wages and the increase in that. We are hearing that every day, and that is where people want the focus to be. And then they hear something like this, and it is just, they can't, you know, it is just beyond the pale, if you will. Donald Trump is very popular in Tennessee. His policies are very popular in the state. They are working, and people want to make certain that we continue this economic growth. Uh, Tennessee is doing a great job attracting jobs. They are doing a great job attracting businesses. We are seeing an increase in manufacturing. As you talk about auto manufacturing, that is going very well for us. Right. Uh, we are seeing, whether it's GM or Nissan or Volkswagen, we hear every day about uh, the opportunities that exist for new workers who are coming into the state and for employees who are looking to uh, get a better job and uh, do a better job providing for their families. You know, it's interesting because the media is making a lot and I think they should, uh, 2018 being the year of, of women running across this country. They never really focus on Republican women. You have been a stalwart in the Congress, and, uh, you know, and obviously I know you're in a tooth and nail battle right now, but uh, you have a remarkable story that I hope gets out there more often. Congressman, thank you very much. Good to be with you, Charles. Thank you. Always, thank you. Hey, coming up, the Trump administration.